Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. This one will be all about the person that is currently thinking about you, connecting with you right now. What do they um, think about you? How do they view the connection with you at this time? And what are their intentions towards you in the near future? Um, so let's jump right in and see what we have. Spirit Angels Guides for Aries. What messages, what guidance? Do you have four Aries? Four Aries. Regarding the person that's thinking about them, connecting with them at this time, what does Aries need to know, Spirit? What does Aries need to know about this person? How do they view this connection with Aries, Spirit? How are they viewing this connection with Aries at this time? The Nine of Wands. Okay, so there's been some difficulty here. Perhaps there's some trust issues on one side, both sides. Um, some guarded energy here because of what has already happened. Maybe you don't trust them. They don't trust you. Um, there's a little bit of baggage here. Old wounds. What else? How are they viewing this connection with Aries? Maybe you would be very guarded towards them if they were to come forward. You're like, what are you doing here? What's going on? Yeah. With the Knight of Pentacles here, I feel like this person is viewing... It's almost like they know that if they were to come forward with this Knight of Pentacles, there would be a bit of a resistance. Um, Two of Cups, wow. And the world. So despite the difficulty, I feel like this person is hoping that this connection is strong enough that there would be a new start with the world. But I feel like they, they're picturing you as, almost as if, you know, maybe this connection has gone through a lot. And so that's going to add to the complexity of everything. It's not going to be so simple because of the history you have with this person already. But the Two of Cups came out, so they have... You know, they view this connection as a very strong partnership. Maybe they view you as their soulmate or they view this as a soulmate connection. So let's see, how do, how do they view Aries? How are they viewing Aries at this time? How are they viewing Aries? Three of Cups. Um, okay. Some of you could be um, mingling having a good time, enjoying your life, doing well, having a lot of friends. Um, some of them, some, some, some of you, this person could just be wanting to reconcile with you and come together with you. Ten of Wands and Eight of Wands. See, I feel like in their mind, you are still affected by what's happened. Be like whatever has happened in this connection, there's baggage. There are issues, maybe unresolved issues. I think this person would love to meet up to talk, but they know that maybe you'll have questions or maybe you'll be like, um, we need to talk about what has already happened. It's not so simple. Yes, we have a strong connection, but we really need to overcome this hurdle because trust issues are not easy. They come up, they will come up. They will resurface if they're not addressed. Some of you have been dating and this person knows about it. They know about it. They don't like it. <laughs> and I feel like they see you out and about. Like they see you out and about. And they're like, I have to get to Aries before they like are locked down by someone or something. <laughs> what are their intentions for the future towards Aries? What are their intentions towards Aries? Their intentions. Yeah, the world again. They want a new beginning with you. What's this? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. That's their intention, Aries, is to have a new beginning with you. The Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. I'm willing to work on this. I'm willing to work on this connection. I've done the work as well. What do we need to know about this connection?
What do we need to know about this connection between Aries and this person? Oh, I got two. Victory lap and breathe in. I feel like this person, they're hoping for success and healing in this connection. Yeah. Wishing well is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like your wish is being granted. This is their wish to have this world, this new start. What else? What else do we need to know? What are the energies here between Aries and this other person? I'm going to clarify the Eight of Wands. Found Slipper. Opportunity, Lucky Break, Serendipity. This person could be hoping for the, uh, the right time to show up, the right opportunity, for things to kind of fall, you know, in the, in, you know, in the right place, for things to fall into the right place. Slaying a dragon, triumph, enemies, achievement. Yeah, they're hoping that this is an, a challenge they can overcome. They know it's a challenge with the Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. Whatever happened between you will be a challenge. Okay, so there was an ending. Sad goodbye is here. Distance, ending, separation. There's an ending of separation here that already took place or that's probably ongoing. So I think that's kind of what's going on here is this person knows that there's a challenge to overcome, but they're hoping that the connection is strong enough, that their offer is good enough, that you overlook that or you're at least willing to try to work on things. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Four of Swords. Okay, why is the Eight of Wands here? Some of you, I feel like you've blocked this person because I'm getting like busy toned or hung up signal from this Four of Swords. The Devil Capricorn energy. And then we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. So I feel like some, I don't know. Communication might be an issue between you and this person. Maybe in your mind, this connection turned unhealthy or there was some unhealthy dynamics. Maybe you both made a little, some mistakes or maybe there was some bad arguments, bad situations that weren't really addressed because I feel like when this person reaches out, I almost get the sense that you're going to be like more of the same. I'm not interested. What is in this person's heart space when it comes to Aries? Our connection is divinely guided. Yeah, they feel like I think this person feels like you're their soulmate. Destiny will help us find each other. Oh, yeah. They're hoping that this connection is strong enough to withstand everything that has happened. And maybe they're right about that. Oh my God, Destin Union also came out. So yeah, they're hoping that this connection is strong enough that there will be success in the end with you. That there will be some sort of reunion with you, a new start with you. Of course, Aries, that will end up, you know, it's up to you if that's how things are going to end up. You will dictate that, I feel. But I think that their energy is very simple. Like this is a very simple energy. I kind of want to clarify this devil. I think I have some time. Yeah. Tell me about the devil. So I feel like some of you have this person blocked or stop talking to this person. Yeah. Seven of swords. You just don't trust them. That's, that's the problem. You don't trust them. You don't trust why they're calling, why they're reaching out. You don't, it's almost like you might not believe what they say, even if they mean well, even if what they're trying to tell you is I've grown, I've matured. There, there's the emperor, your energies here, Aries. You know, I, I feel like some of you just, I don't know, maybe it was just too many things, too much history, too many like second chances or just a situation where things got worse instead of getting better. And I think... You know, this person knows it. I, I don't think that they're ignorant of the fact 
that this is how you think about them because when they think about reaching out it's like they're expecting you to be like this just to, to not trust them but again it's almost like this person is hoping that you can't compare what we had aries is that kind of energy you're not going to find this kind of love anywhere else what we have is special and we can get through this together. We can overcome this. We can build trust again. I feel like that would be this person's, um, like the way they speak to you, what they kind of bring to you, because I don't know. I, I, it's almost like in their in the back of their mind, they're thinking this can't be over. Like this can't truly be over between us because we're destined to be together, right? So it's like, it's, it's not really fitting in this person's reality that you don't end up together, if that makes sense. So let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. You know, would you be willing to overlook certain things if it was your soulmate? Because I'm definitely one of those that believes in having more than one soulmate in a lifetime. I do believe that. So, I mean, some of you, this is your only soulmate or maybe, you know, it's just not worth it even if they are a soulmate. Like, it's not worth dealing with all this because I feel like some of you definitely cut off this person. Um, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button uh, before you leave. If you'd like to know about the Oracle cards that I use today, they're all mine and I sell them on my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.